welcome back to my kitchen and I am just taking out this chicken that I decided to bake you guys we're getting ready to make this chicken spaghetti I've never made it before I've heard about it for quite some time and just thought I would try it it sounds delicious and I looked at several different recipes about making this. Can y'all see this? Y'all know I'm not, that's about as far as I'm a tilty, because y'all know me, it'll be in the floor. But I looked at several different recipes um, and just kind of decided what I wanted to do. But let me start by saying you don't have to bake your chicken. The reason I baked my chicken in the cream of chicken because I had some other things that I was trying to do. So I was trying to multitask and I didn't want to, um, I saw somebody had fried the chicken or had cooked the chicken on the top of the stove. Uh, some people use a rotisserie chicken. At the end of the day, you want some chicken that's done, okay? However you choose to achieve that. So, since I knew I was going to be using some cream of chicken, I thought, let me just go on and bake my chicken. That way I can do what I need to do and, you know, the chicken will be done. So, that's the only reason I chose to do that. I baked my chicken. I, have, I used three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I baked them for about an hour, okay? Again, that makes this recipe longer if you bake your, your chicken like I did, but I want to do something else. Okay, so now the chicken is ready. All right, so the chicken is ready. You'll see that I seasoned the chicken with some of this. You notice in the beginning, I used some Montreal chicken seasoning. And I used a little bit of black pepper. And then I used, I added this cream of chicken soup with herbs. Some people use cream of chicken and I think cream of mushroom. Whatever cream of whatever I guess you prefer is what you could use. So I used two cans of this when I baked my chicken. And what you saw me doing when I added the water, I had some chicken broth here. I like to make my own chicken broth, okay, because it's more flavorful. So I had a little bit of chicken broth and I, I make my chicken broth by using a little bit of water and some better than bouillon. So the bouillon, better than bouillon flavor I added to my water was the seasoned roasted chicken. You guys, I love better than bouillon. Oh my goodness. So that's how I make my chicken broth because in my opinion, that stuff that comes in the box or whatever, it's too bland for me, okay? Now, so that's what I use to fix my chicken. Now, I also used a broth, added broth to water. I am boiling my one pound of thin spaghetti. So that's right here. That's where you see the steam. One pound. Now, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to need all this spaghetti, but I'm trying to give you guys exact measurements of what I'm using. So one pound of Thin spaghetti, I'm going to boil it about 10 minutes. You want to boil it, as they say, until it becomes al dente. So, I'm going to boil it about 10 minutes. I've got my timer set, all right? Also, I have cut up, let me add a little bit of butter to my, to my skillet, because I'm getting ready to saute. It's not much left, so that's probably less than a tablespoon. Turn my burner on because I'm getting ready to saute or cook these onions a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to bite down into a raw onion. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of onions. Now this, this my chicken spaghetti. Okay, I had about, it was a nice size onion, so I used a little bit more than half, but it's whatever you like. Okay, so I have my onion here. This was just a little bit of spinach that was in the refrigerator that was on its last leg, or shall I say last leaf. <laughs> I just decided to cut a little bit up so I can get a little bit of greenery in there. Y'all, that's all. That's all. Totally not necessary. Uh, I'm going to add some, a little bit of garlic. I'm going to use some garlic. 
And then I'm using one can of these mild diced tomatoes and green chilies by Rotel. I have already thoroughly cleaned this off, but I'm going to do it again in front of y'all. Y'all make sure you clean your cans off, okay? Wash off those nasty cans because when I tell you they are filthy nasty. Being in warehouses and in the grocery stores and the truck drivers and, and, and the warehouse workers and folk hands all over them and the, the, the little rodents and stuff in the warehouse. Y'all clean off these nasty cans. Okay? You see I did the same thing with my cream of chicken in the beginning. Alright, clean those cans off. Let's see. Is that it? No, of course you need cheese. If you've been rocking with me for a while, then you know I prefer to grate my own cheese, okay? To me, it's creamier. It's better than the bagged cheese. So, again, because I've never done this before, I'm going to use what I think I'm going to need. So, I have eight ounces of this sharp cheddar. And then I'm using eight ounces of Colby Jack. And then I have a little bit of extra, some mozzarella in the freezer that I took out. So I'm going to grate a little bit of that as well. And I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan. I have some shredded Parmesan cheese. Now this is shredded. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of that, okay? Not much, but just a little bit. All right, I think that is everything. It's almost time for my al dente noodles to be drained. So I'm going to start by adding, so you guys have seen this, so let me move that. And you don't have to use, um, you don't have to grate your own cheese. Feel free to get the cheese that's already grated for you in the bag. That is perfect, perfectly fine. Some people even use Velveeta. I saw some people doing that. Y'all listen. This is going to be your chicken spaghetti if you fix it. So make it however you want. Use the ingredients that you want to use as it pertains to the cheeses and the cream of soups. Okay? That should be, that's going to get to sizzling in a minute. And I'm, I'm going to bring you guys closer in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. But let me take this, um, let me drain my spaghetti. And then we'll come back and start getting everything mixed up. I'm going to go on and add my a little bit of spinach in here. It is a little bit. I'm add a little bit of this garlic. a couple of teaspoons of garlic and get a little bit of that juice. A little bit of that juice. Here is the diced tomatoes and green chili. And I'm probably not going to be able to get everything in this um, large skillet, but that's fine. We can have it between the two or I can freeze some of it. Okay. So now I'm just breaking up some of, or breaking up the chicken. I don't necessarily want to consider this shredding it, but I'm pulling it apart 
because I want hunks of chicken. I want to know that I'm eating some chicken with my chicken spaghetti, okay? You guys know I have I thoroughly washed my hands before I started. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Because that's just nasty. Nasty. See those nice chunks of chicken? You know, I like using thighs too because I think that they are... They're not dry. There's, I think they're moist and even more tender. So that's why I prefer to use thighs. But you can use breasts. You can use deep bones and chicken legs. Like I said, rotisserie chicken. Whatever you like. Okay. I've already shredded up my cheese over here. So I'm trying to decide what do I want to do next. I guess I can go on and start adding some of this chicken. Let me pour some of this. I think I want to pour some of this um, soup in there and then add my cheeses. Then I can come back and add some more chicken, okay? Now I'm going to save some of this cheese to top off the chicken spaghetti. This is the sharp cheese. And this is the Colby Jack. I want the mozzarella on the top too. Okay. So now we're just going to Stir this around, let it simmer just a few minutes so this cheese will melt. Okay, now I want to start adding some of my noodles. Yeah, this is definitely going to be enough to be able to freeze. I started to fix half half of that box. I always, I do not measure good when it comes to spaghetti. I just don't. I always end up, I do the same thing with when I'm making spaghetti. I always end up with too many noodles. But it's okay. some more noodles. And just like my spaghetti, I want this to be a little creamy. I don't want, I don't like dry spaghetti. 
do not like dry spaghetti. I have just a little bit more of my, um, this little bit of broth that's left. I'm going to go in and I'm going to go ahead and just put that on in there. And even if I do not need all of this chicken and broth, honey, my husband will love this over some rice. So that is definitely not a problem. He can eat chicken and rice any day. consistency that we have before I put it in the oven okay it still has some looseness to it this is what's left of the chicken so it's not a whole whole lot but if you don't want this much um, you know definitely don't do the three pounds of chicken you can get away with two pounds And then two pounds or less you know what I'm saying and then with the spaghetti this is what we have left with the spaghetti okay that will not go to waste so now we're gonna add a little bit of my Parmesan cheese. Just sprinkle some of that in there. And then we're going to top it with the rest of our cheese. Okay. I had a couple of humps that it, I didn't really get grated. I didn't want to grate my knuckles. <laughs> I have done that before. And y'all, that is no fun. Grating your knuckles. Top it off with some parsley flakes. You know what I'm gonna, I just want to melt this, pretty much melt the cheese on top. So we'll be in the oven maybe about um, maybe about 20 minutes or so. Okay. So my oven is on the melt a little slow so my oven is on 325 and I'm gonna set my timer for about 25 minutes 20 20 I'm gonna start with 20 minutes okay I'll let you know how long it baked though once it once I take it out y'all listen to that sound Twenty-five minutes on uh, three hundred and twenty-five degrees. Don't you guys love the bubble and the sizzle? And you can see where it just started to brown in some spots. Mm -hmm. So now we we'll just let it sit for a little while until we're ready to eat.
He's never had any of this, you guys. What is it called? So why are you laughing? Food. Well, I don't know it's food, but I'm saying it looked like, um, it looked like spaghetti with, um, cheese and, it, it don't look like meatballs, but it looked more like, like a chicken noodle soup. Miss it like a um. You is smart. You is kind. You is important. Wow, what's the what is it? Taste it. Oh, now you want to bless that? You don't be blessing yeah. them pieces of cake. Oh no, be this is new here. This is new here. Take it don't burn your mouth, please. I'm not gonna burn my mouth. I don't have to learn how to not burn your mouth. Blow your hot breath on me. I think my breath is hot. That's this. Hey, you blow with some love. Blow with some love. <sighs> now it melted. It. See what you did? It melted all my cheek. Listen, sir. It's like chicken noodle soup with cheese. Is it good? I mean, it's like the chicken and the noodles. Instead of in water with a sauce, it's, it's like cheese. There is cheese in it. Yeah. And there's chicken in it. Mm -hmm. And there's noodles. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's an alternative to the regular spaghetti. It's called chicken spaghetti. Really? Mm -hmm. What's good? Definitely good. You can't miss with chicken and noodles. Chicken noodles spaghetti. Chicken noodles spaghetti. Okay, we have to get our thumbnail. All right, you guys. Y'all like this. Ooh, girl, don't drop chicken this and get embarrassed. Don't drop chicken noodles spaghetti. Who came up with this? Are you gonna look up? You just. Y'all, is it slide? It's good though, for real. Are you gonna look up back? It's like you're fooling your taste buds. Anywho, it is. I guess he ain't gonna look up. What you mean you're fooling your taste buds? Your taste buds, I mean, they're not fooled because they know you're eating. It's supposed to be, I told you, it looked like, um, it looks like chicken noodles. But then again, it looks like spaghetti. So chicken noodle spaghetti. That's what I'm going to call it. It's chicken noodle spaghetti. That's a good comfort food, too. It is. It's almost like it's going to be cold outside to eat this. Okay, you guys. Y'all, that's good. Um, Don't fix all the noodles like I did. <laughs> My toot is here. Her and Jackson. Two is here. Jackson will be here in a few minutes, and they're gonna help us eat it. But you could have, I could have done two pounds of chicken, and even maybe like half that box of uh, noodles. Anywho, this gonna fool your taste buds, guys. Anywho, I'll put the recipe. I'll put what I used, and then y'all do that in half if you don't want that much. How about that? Okay. So, all right, you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. And hit the notification. That's turning on that notification bell. That way, you'll be notified whenever we're over here doing whatever it is we're doing. And when you turn on that notification bell, it shakes. And that's that shake some, shake some, shake some, shake some. We already look forward to you. Don't forget, y'all, really, though, thumbs up the video because the thumbs, thumbing up, thumbs, thumbs, thumbing up, thumbing up, thumbsing up the video, and even commenting, that helps the algorithm, you know, in 
and helps the algorithm recommend our videos out. So, and so yeah. if you think the video is worth recommending, yeah. Well, then thumbs up, guys. Come on, guys. We're in Don't this forget. together. It's a lot of work going to this. Well, I think a lot of times people just forget. So. Don't forget, family. Don't forget. Because I don't always say that. But anywho, we already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Chicken noodle spaghetti. Chicken noodle soup. Is there a, is there a song called that? Chicken noodle soup. Dude, is that a song? How you go? Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle soup. With the soda on the side. Chicken noodle soup. Let it rain. Let it rain. Where did it come from? What in the world? Chicken noodle soup with a soda. Bye, y'all.